Believe me, I feel you, the struggle is real. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I thought, why not talk about something that I feel like we all can relate to right now, like for real. It's a new year, new me, you wanna work out, you wanna feel good, get on that regimen, baby. But let's face it, sometimes we just don't feel like working out. I know for me personally, there's those days where I wake up and I'm just like, I don't got it in me today. It is okay and perfectly normal not to feel motivated every single day. So today I'm coming at you guys to kind of share with you 10 things that I feel for myself that I definitely do that helps me stay motivated for the gym. So without further ado, let's just get into this. So here are my 10 tips guys in no particular order whatsoever. Just gonna spit them out at you and hopefully someone out there can find this helpful. So tip number one is to drink a large, tall, cold glass of water or green tea whichever you prefer. I'll wake up, drink my coffee, feel good for a hot minute, then all of a sudden, half hour later, I'm like, I think I could take a nap. Don't do that. Instead, just grab yourself a nice cold glass of water. Chances are you're dehydrated. Caffeine is a diuretic and it's draining you of your water. So you need to just replenish your body and it will really wake you up for real. Hands down, that works for me almost every morning. I'll feel super tired until I drink a tall glass of water and it's like getting punched in the face in a good way. <laughs> so there you have it, that's tip number one. Drink some water, cold water, wake yourself right up. Green tea is a plus, especially if you replace the coffee with green tea. Get a little bit of caffeine, but nothing crazy, ain't gonna make you crash. So yeah, definitely try that tip. Tip number two kind of goes along with tip number one. Aside from drinking cold water, another way that I wake myself up is I do some deep stretching yoga poses. Like deep, hold it, get your muscles warmed up. You won't even notice it because it's not like you're at the gym running. You're just kind of doing something that, that feels good in the moment, which is actually getting your blood circulated and gets you pumped, man. You're gonna get pumped for that gym, baby. Even just five minutes will help wake you up and you will get motivated feeling like Okay, I'm not tired, let's do this. Tip number three, this is a definite one for me, is adding new music to your playlist. There's nothing worse than trying to feel hyped for the gym and you get there and you're listening to the same dang playlist on repeat that you've been listening to forever. Update your playlist, a YouTube playlist, anything. Just YouTube's got so many different playlists that come out every year, all new music, so, Get your groove on, man. Get that playlist fire going. Tip number four, yeah, this definitely motivates me, is to get new gym gear. Something you feel very confident in. If what you're wearing kind of slouches down on you, is ripping, torn, it just doesn't fit you right in the right places, girls, you know what I'm saying? I know when I get new active wear that I'm just like in love with and I'm just feeling it and I can't wait to wear it. It just gives me that like fire under my tush to just like get out that door and go because I can't wait to wear gown in my new clothes. Like the, the icing on the cake of working out is having nice active wear, yeah. Tip number five, this one's a big one for me in particular, is to find your inspiration for sure. No matter what you're trying to do, whether it's yoga, whether it's intense weight training, whether it's cardio, any kind of exercise, it's important to have an inspiration of some sort. If you're feeling that lack of motivation, like, oh, what am I striving for? What am I doing? I don't even care. Try Pinterest, Instagram, hashtags, anywhere. Hashtag fitness, whatever. Fitness motivation is a good one. You will get a bunch of people working out. Videos, clips, pictures, you name it and you will be seeing the world working out. And I don't know about you, but when I see other people working out, it motivates me to work out, which is why I do get a better workout at the gym rather than at home where I'm next to my comfy, cozy bed. I don't really feel motivated there. Or if you're working out to achieve a certain look body-wise, look up what your ideal body would be and look towards that as, some, as a form of inspiration. Have it as your wallpaper or your desktop wallpaper. Just something to look at in the morning and go, 
that's what I'm striving for. It's also important not to get discouraged because you could take that being a positive thing and turn it negative by looking at it and going, I'm never gonna reach that. I'm just never gonna get to that level. Don't think that way. It's important to just train yourself to look at things in a positive light. Like that's something to look forward to. Tip number six, I think we're on, right? Yeah, six um, is to track your progress no matter how big or how small it is whether that means writing things down or taking photos of yourself to track your progress you can do this daily but i personally i would recommend doing it like weekly by the end of each week track your progress no matter how big or how small that progress is when you see it and you have proof of it it definitely will give you more incentive to continue going. And seeing those little bits of improvements really gets me going, okay, what I'm doing is working. It takes time, but it's working because it's just human nature to wanna know that what you're doing is paying off. Tip number seven is to think of the immediate feeling after a workout. So for me on days where I'm just like, I don't know, maybe I'll just chill today. I think to myself, if I'm going to chill today, by mid to late afternoon, I am not gonna feel good, my head's gonna feel stagnant, I'm just gonna feel crappy. So I always tell myself, get this hour workout in or however long and think about how you feel afterwards. You're gonna feel pretty darn good, you've achieved what you wanted for the day, you've done your part, so now you can chill. Working out literally makes my day. Without it, I have an off day almost every single time. So when I work out, I, I feel complete. That's just me. So figure out how you feel after a workout, those benefits of the, the feelings you get after a workout, and just think about that when you're having a down day. Tip number eight is to find a workout partner. Somebody with similar goals, similar like-minded people to help you just up your game a little bit. Having that second person there is honestly such a mood booster. It lifts you up, it gives you something to look forward to on the drive there, on the drive home, talking about your experience. I had my boyfriend James go with me. We just got a membership together and it's been awesome and my workouts have actually been significantly more challenging. I think having a partner you can go with who shares the same love for fitness as you and you guys can just motivate each other and hype each other up on the drive in, things like that, is a seriously beneficial thing to have. So, tip number nine is to reward yourself. It's as simple as that. You need something to kind of look forward to after your workout. It's, it's a psychological thing, but it's true. While you're working out, you get excited for whatever it is that reward is. For me, it's as simple as if I work out, I can veg later on, chill and watch Netflix because I'm obsessed with watching movies. So that's my reward. Yours could be a simple treat or a snack that you like. Whatever reward you choose is always more enjoyable when you've earned it. Tip number 10, very, very important, but it is the last tip of the day, is to set goals for yourself. And most importantly, small achievable goals. You can have long-term goals, short, that's great, but it's very important to achieve those small little tangible short-term goals because when they are tangible and you do reach those goals, it's a sense of fulfillment and it will absolutely increase your chances of having motivation to do it again because each time you step down the path of your goals, you're getting closer to the ultimate goal, whatever that might be. So in the meantime, in order to get here to where you wanna be, set those little baby steps, those little ladders to get there. And I promise you day by day, when you see yourself climbing that ladder and you get to look back and see where you came from, it's gonna be such a good feeling. It will give you all the motivation you need to keep going to get to that tip to top, baby. So those were my 10 tips to staying and keeping motivated for the gym or for just working out in general. I hope this was helpful for you guys and I hope that you at least were able to take away one of these tips and utilize them. If you enjoyed this video or did find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I do make new videos every single week. Comment down below, what is your number one way to keep motivated to get yourself to work out. I love you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing week 
Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.